Our voyage has taken quite the dark turn. This was most unexpected. Curse that witch! Thoraburn has transformed us into rats and kidnapped my son, Timothy! Things hardly look better for you four. If we get out of this, all that awaits you in Britain is a trial for high treason. They will try you, and very likely find you guilty. The penalty for such crimes, I'm afraid to say, is death. Such is the fate of all who rebel against the crown. Your trial will be fair, but your guilt is beyond doubt. But perhaps you do have some luck. My misfortune could be to your benefit. A captain can never abandon the sacred duty he has to his ship or crew. At any cost to myself or my family, I must remain to guard the ship. So here's my offer to you. Rescue my son Timothy and defeat Flora Burn. Bring me the witch, dead or alive, I do not care which. In return, you will be cleared of all charges. So, is there one among you crazy enough to captain this mission? Take this amulet. Flora dropped it during her escape. Perhaps it will be of use to you. It is none to me. Unexpected forms. I did not predict that destiny would transform me in this way. I do not like it, but for the sake of my people, I must do what I must do. We have a common goal. For the sake of my mission, I must work with you. Let us make a temporary alliance. What do you expect from a rat like Flora? Literally. Taking advantage of the chaos like that and taking little Timmy with her too? Halt. No one's allowed in right now on account of the repairs what we're doing. Captain's orders. <laughs> Rescue my son, Timothy, and deal with Flora Bird, or we will be rats for life. If you need anything, my crew may be able to help you. Return to this beach from time to time. Blacksmith, the Admiral, that is. It's being right good to you, lot. You'd better be grateful. was it to let Johnson cook? The base camp latrines won't be able to handle what's coming their way. If only it had a bit of black pepper. 
the spiciness would at least do something to hide the taste. What I wouldn't give for a bit of spice. Blacksmith? That is THE blacksmith. Ain't here at the mo. Come back later. We'll probably give you a hand. since we've had newbies. I remember the last one, young Jimmy. What a great student. We fought together in Port Royal, and he did great, Jimmy did. But unfortunately, he lost his ear in that fight to the death with spoons. He might have been admiral. Without the ear, the hat just wouldn't stay in place. Anyway, enough about that. You listen here, recruit. Do you want to hear Major Mallory's martial lesson? Easy. Too easy, recruit. All right, then. What about an air attack? And an uppercut. Bravo. Good work, recruit. We'll make something of you yet. On to the left. Try a crowd attack. Well done, recruit. Smart work, and no mistake. You can also block and parry attacks if you're on your toes. And six alive. We're cooking with petrol now. We'll make a marine of you yet. Perhaps you could do me a small favor. One of those filthy pirates stole my treasure. A picture of my wife. It's very valuable to me. If you got it back, I would be much obliged to you. Hellish crab! Always cheating! I'm sure he's got an ace up his sleeve. Or, you know, in the claw, I guess. If only I had a gosh darn ace of spades, I could beat him in this round. This bad streak can't go on forever. What are you looking at? You're making me nervous. I can't play poker like that. Urgh. Careful out there. Flora and her gang of wrong'uns are making an army of monsters out there. in charge of supplies and provisions. Would you like to buy something? Ah, now wind the long faces. You didn't expect the supplies to be free, did you? <laughs> we lost a lot of our cargo and provisions in the shipwreck. What can be recovered will need to be rationed. Ah, but I do have a heart now. We can work out a little commercial agreement, to be sure. Would you like to buy something?
Walter, du. Walter! Walter! That boy's a slacker if ever I've seen one. If he's not finished with the bridge soon, we'll never get the good supply train going. Now, if you see him, you tell him from me to get shift in, or he'll be peeling potatoes for a whole month by thunder. picture of my wife that was stolen, I would be eternally grateful. Hellish crab! Always cheating! I'm sure if only I had a gosh darn ace of spades I could be- What are you looking at? You're making me nervous. Careful out there. Flora and her gang of wrong are making an army of monsters out there. Rescue my son, Timothy, and deal with Flora Byrne. If you need anything, my crew may be able to help you. going on now? Stop! Who are you, ghost? I am not a ghost. Mind your manners. I am Wu Yun, emissary of the Shen of the Southern Sea, and I've been itching to get out of the amulet. But how is this possible? This is witchcraft. Of all the things in heaven and earth, almost all are beyond your capacity for understanding. I will attempt to explain, however. The Eye of the Serpent has passed hand to hand around the world for centuries. We have always shown our favor to the master of the Eye of the Serpent. And ever have we charged a fair price for it. Some have attempted to destroy it, but the Eye of the Serpent remains to observe the world. In its recent history, Flora Byrne stole the Eye of the Serpent in the Caribbean. Flora is now beginning to grasp the power she has in her hands and her abilities grow by the hour. So this is all because of a bit of jewelry? Why do pirates have such an obsession with shiny things? Enough. We have no time for further talk. Every minute is precious. Flora Byrne has the ring the other half of the Eye of the Serpent. 
which was separated when the powerful spell was cast. I am owed a debt for my service to her, and I will take payment. My powers are greatly weakened without the ring, but I can feel ancient and powerful magic flowing in this land. Harvest all the spiritual energy you can, and I will help you recover your strength, reward you with great powers, and perhaps I can make you human again. All right, Grandpa, enough chit chat. I'm in a hurry to get all this hair off my head. I've been given two missions today, and they both have the same aim. Apparently, this Flora doesn't know how to make friends. Perfect. Remember that your fellow prisoners can help you. And now my first favor. I will awaken your inner element. Powerful magic in this place. Perhaps you could make use of it. Find other ancestral doors to teleport to different locations.
something. Careful out there. Flora and her gang of wrongins are making an army of monsters out there. Give me the kid, and maybe I'll let you go. Are you kidding me? Are you really the best blacksmith they could find to come after me? This isn't worth my time. Fatso, get rid of them. Bye-bye, rat. <laughs> A little rat looking for trouble. I've been locked down in that boat for so long that I can't even remember the last time I was at a party. But looks like the party's come to fat so this time. Shall we dance? Sorry, Toadface. You're not my type. I'm gonna hit you so hard, your ears will dance. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
bully. You only won because I haven't had my morning coffee. And it's just a bad day, you know? No matter what you do, you pipsqueaks won't be able to stop Flora's plan. We'll meet again, and then I'll show you what real pain is. Ah! 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 
Sick of the armor, you know. This thing of taking orders all day long, it's not for me. My cousin told me that if I enlisted, I'd see the world. But that little squirt didn't say that I'd have to get up early every day and receive instructions from a bitter admiral all day long. I want to be free, sail the wild sea, and feel the breeze in my beard. I want to drink rum. Get up at noon and never scrub a ship deck again. I want to be a pirate. Why are you looking at me like that? I know I don't look much like a Corsair, but with a little help I'm sure I'd make it. I'm going to be the greatest pirate of all time. I just need to get a few things to be a pirate. I've made a list. Do you want to see it? Long beard. Hook. Pirate clothing. Cloth palette. Give me a hand here. If you help me, I'll be indebted to you forever. Or you help me get them. <laughs>
floor with you if you keep this up.
What's going on? My apologies. My little boy Kowalski is a rather a talker, but his actions speak for himself. I am King Crapper, the great and mighty king of Crab. And thanks to the great and kind Flora, we are now greater and mightier than ever. The mere thought of the treasures which Flora will bless us with, as thanks for destroying you, makes my claws tingle. Don't be greedy, little crab man. Don't you know that worldly possessions are a spiritual burden? Better give them to me. I'll dispose of your treasures safely. Don't make me laugh. This will be the easiest treasure we'll collect yet. Right, little boy? Cross these smacks. Rapa, rapa, wacky do. Rapa, rapa, wacky do.
Oh, come on. You're doubting us, are ya? We're comrades. We're all victims here. I don't buy it. You guys are pirates for sure. Us? Pirates? No way. We're all poor fishermen. We were sailing on a whaler when we were boarded by Flora's ship. And those English soldiers mistook us for pirates. All just a terrible mix-up. Oh, come on, mateys. Give us a little help and we'll be forever in your debt. This humorous isn't to his liking, but maybe if you've got a good femur, the flea bag will drop the keys. Let's hope the chihuahua isn't a vegan, or we're doomed. All right, I'll help you. But this smells fishy. I hope I don't live to regret this.
Persistent, aren't you? You have the other part of the Eye of the Serpent, don't you? Give it back to me, or the child will suffer the consequences. Let go of me, witch! My father is going to beat you up! 
Watch your manners, brat. Your old man isn't here now, is he? I don't have time for this. Morat, take care of this scum and get the amulet back for me. <laughs> Damn witch! She got away again. Nihayat. Welcome to my humble encampment. It is not every day that I have the opportunity to receive such illustrious visitors. Unfortunately, your adventure must end here. My sincerest apologies that I cannot show you the hospitality of the Ottomans with a cup of chai. It cannot be helped, however. My appetite is high, and I have my orders. Have at you! It's not enough to just try. You've got to really give it your all. <laughs> <laughs> 